Phenomenal Methodology, or EM for short, is different from Phenomenology, which is about the senses. Instead, EM considers how our brain, mind and thoughts alone create social world perceptions. It was developed by Harold Garfinkel as a challenge to orthodox sociology. This emerged in America around the 1960s. Ethnomethodology's interest is in how ordinary people make sense of their social world. Garfinkel claimed that social order was achieved from the bottom up, but this meant that people are not puppets on a string as a functionalist would claim, but rather individuals construct their everyday life with common sense knowledge. A clear characteristic of Garfinkel's theory was the term indexicality. Note this down for your revision. This means that nothing had a fixed meaning and instead things depend on the context. However, this also shows that indexicality is clearly a threat to social order because if meanings are inherently unclear or unstable, communication and cooperation become difficult and social relationships may begin to break down. This is best illustrated through Garfinkel's field experiment with his students. Garfinkel's students behave to their parents at home as if they were lodgers. A lodger is someone who rents out a room in a home. For example, they behaved overly polite and formal with their parents and avoided getting personal, just how a lodger who lives in your home would. Their aim was to disrupt people's sense of social order. The parents were confused and thought that their children were ill or being sarcastic. Garfinkel concluded that by challenging people's taken-for-granted assumptions, the experiment showed that social order is participantly produced by members themselves. So, there you have it, ethnomethodology in under five minutes. Can you think of any overlap between EM and phenomenology? Thank you for watching.